setting up GrooveMail and SendGrid. Hi, my name is Rob Rosera, and in this video, we're going to be setting up GrooveMail to work with SendGrid. We'll be using Namecheap for our private email and domain setup, and the links for those are below in the description. Also, make sure that you click notify and subscribe to our channel to see even more videos. All right, let's get started. A couple of things that we're going to need, right? We're going to need a Groove account. We're going to need a custom domain. We're going to need a private email address, and you're going to need a SendGrid account. Um, so... The custom domain, you guys know how to do that. We walked through that a bunch of times. Um, and you can actually go to enhancedtrainingacademy.blog and you can actually go through our step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to set up your custom domain. Um, basically, you go into Namecheap, you go ahead and purchase your domain, you go ahead and connect it into Groove, right? Very, very simple right there, not a big deal. Um, but you do need to have the domain into Groove in order, in order for us to go ahead and do this, okay? So that's the, that's the very first thing we want to do. Um, second thing we want to do is go ahead and set up your SendGrid account. OK, um, all we're going to do at that point is you're going to go go through, set up your SendGrid account. Um, when you go to SendGrid.com, go start for free. Um, you can go ahead and just walk it through. It's very straightforward. Should be able to do it without any problems right there. Um, but once you do that, right, we want to go ahead and, and make sure our SendGrid account is actually authorized now. Um, and the way we do that is we have to add a couple a couple records into our DNS settings in GrooveMail. OK, so. First thing we're going to do is after you set it up, we're going to go into um, SendGrid and we're going to come down here to settings. OK, and we're going to come down here to sender author auth authentication. OK. So once we do that, right, it's going to have a couple buttons here. One of them here is going to say auth authenticate your domain. OK, we're going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to say DNS host, which host do we want. We want to go ahead and select Cloudflare. And it said, we'd like to brand our links for this domain. We're going to click on yes. Okay. So we're going to click on next. And then it's going to say authenticate your domain. It's going to ask you, what domain do you want to do here? Um, the one that we're using, Kathy and I right now, we're actually using our, um, we're using a domain called Kathy and Rob, Kathy and Rob .com. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in that domain. And it's going to say next. And it's going to say, okay, we need to add these DNS records into our into our account, okay? And you can see right here, the the type here, right, is CNAME. Um, here's the name right here, and then here's the value, okay? So very, very simple to do this. All we're going to do is we're going to come over here into Groove, right? We're going to come into Accounts. We're going to go to Domain, and we're going to go ahead and select um, our domain, our custom domain. And you're going to see down here, we have Kathy and Rob somewhere. Kathy and Rob. Kathy and Rob right here. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the DNS button. Okay. And what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and click add record. All right. We're going to click on add record. The type is going to be C name. All right. And then we're going to come back here to send grid. And it's going to say the, the name. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. In the name field, we're going to go ahead and paste it. We're going to go back to send grid and then the value. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to come over here. And in the content, we're going to paste that. And we're going to do save. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do that for each one of these records that are in here, right? So there's a total of five of them. Okay. So we're going to do that same exact process for all five. Now, these are for us right here. When you guys do it, you're going to see different values in here. So don't get confused. You're going to be doing your value. So just remember. We're going to come in here, go to DNS. We're going to say add record, change the type to C name. We're going to put the name, which is this right here. And here where it says value, where this says value right here, this one right here is going to come in and it's going to go under content. Okay. So remember name and content is going to be, is going to be name and value here. Okay. All right. So good. So that's where we're at right now. So once you do all those things, right, you can see I've already done these. They're, they don't match these exactly because they, they change each time. Um, once you do that, you're basically going to click on here and you click verify. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back here. And you can see our Kathy and Rob one right here is verified. Um, don't worry about these two. These are just test ones I've done. Okay. So you can see in here, these has it has these records in here. I went ahead and added them in our DNS. And I went ahead and verified them. Okay. So they everything is verified there. So we're good. Once you do that, you're going to come back to the screen and it's going to say that it's verified. As long as you're said verified there, you are good to go. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our SendGrid account. We're going to go ahead and verify our domain. Okay. 
So that's basically what, and I'll go ahead and give you guys this PDF <clears throat> when, we're, when we're done here. Um, but it basically walks you through everything, right? So same thing, you walk through, you come in here, um, you get your records you need to go, go into DNS and go ahead and add those records. Very, very straightforward. Okay, once you do that, now you need to make sure you have your email actually set up because you're going to need an actual email address. You can't use Gmail. You can't use whatever. You're going to need your actual email address set up. Okay. So what do you do is you come over here to the name cheap. Um, you click on email right here. And now you go ahead and select which one you want. Um, nice thing is, is that name cheap is super cheap. You can get a single email address. It'll cost you 10 bucks a year. Um, you get three of them. It'll cost you 28 bucks a year. If you get um, the ultimate, which I think is five, you get 47 bucks a year. Okay. So I go, I opted for the, for the three email one, right? So I got three emails right there, get 30 gig worth of emails, get 15 gig file storage. So, and it's, it's absolutely fine. So, um, I go ahead and I went ahead and select this one. And then once you do that, right, you're going to come down here and it's going to show you <clears throat> your private email subscriptions, right? So once you click on email, you purchase it, you go through the checkout process, um, you're going to come back to the dashboard. Come back to the dashboard. You click on private email and you're going to see your email right here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on manage. And it's going to have, have a couple more records, right? So now there's more stuff we need to put into our DNS. Um, so you can see right here, the record type is MX, MX and a text record, right? The host name is at sign and here's the value. Okay. So we need to add these three records into our DNS now. Okay, so we're going to come back over here. We're going to go back into our um, our DNS records. We're going to say add record. Now, this time we're going to say MX record. Right. And it's going to say MX private email dot com. So we're going to go ahead and put um, for the name. We're going to put an at sign and the context we're going to put in. <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to put in. Whoops. I missed copy that. Copy that. And in the content, we're going to go ahead and put the value of that. Um, and it says priority 10, right? Priority 10. We're going to go ahead and add that. And you can see I already have those records actually right here in there. Okay. So I added an MX record, MX record, and text record. So I'm not going to go ahead and add them again. Um, so Kathy dropped off because I think it's her, I think it was her um, internet. I think that may have been messing things up. So I'm not sure. So. Um, just answer your question. So anyway, um, so once you do that, we add those records in there. So now we have a bunch of new records that we just went ahead and added to our DNS. Okay. Once all that stuff is in there, um, you can see you should have all your records right here. And then here are the two new MX records that we have. Okay. So, so far, all we've done is we went ahead and got our private email. We went ahead and set up our send grid. We went ahead and authorize our send grid. And we went ahead and set up our private email um, records in in GrooveMail or uh, in Groove. Okay, so so far I haven't done anything yet with GrooveMail. We're just doing the setup part. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through this again just so you guys can see. And again, I'll give you guys this PDF when we're done right here. So you come in here, you go to Namecheap, like we said. Um, you go ahead and grab your email. Go ahead and click on Manage, and you go ahead and add your records in here. Again, these are what mine are. Yours may or may not be different. I don't know. It's gonna. It really will depend. Um, once you do that, remember, we come in here, we say add record, and we go ahead and just add the records that we want, that we need in here, okay? Um, now what we're going to do, we're actually going to set up a mailbox for your email because we're going to need to verify this stuff within within um, uh, within GrooveMail. So next we need to do is actually set up mailboxes, okay? So the way to do that is we come in here. Um, we went ahead into private email, and we came here, we clicked on manage. And then you scroll down here, and it's going to have the spot where you can actually set up mailboxes. Um, you can see I've already set up three mailboxes. I have one for Kathy at KathyandRob.com. I have one for Rob at KathyandRob.com. Then I have one that's content at KathyandRob.com. And this is one we're actually going to email from. Um, and I also make this my catch-all email as well. Catch-all basically means that if anybody actually um, responds back to us, right, to like some other email, like if somebody says webmaster at KathyandRob.com, it'll go to this email. Um, somebody also can just email content at Kathy and Rob. It'll come to this email. Um, but the point is, you need to set up those emails. All right. So you just go ahead and just set them up. Um, it's very simple to do. Um, I, it's 
there's actually a button that just says set up. I don't have, because I already set up my three boxes, I don't have the option to, to set up another one. Um, but it's straightforward to do. Just go ahead and just set them up um, and you can go ahead and do that. Once you do that, just click on done. Um, and then you'll be you'll be good to go. Um, but the other thing we do is once we do that, come in here into private email again, go back into manage. And we will, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up um, one of these emails here. So we're going to be actually sending email from this account. OK, it's going to everything that we send out is going to be from content at Kathy and Rob dot com. OK, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just open up that email, the actual email box so I can check that email. All right. So I'm going to say open webmail. And what it's going to do is going to go ahead and just open up this information right here. Um, it's just a simple web based email. And again, you can set this up on Thunderbird or whatever it is that that you use here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this in a minute. Um, but we want to make sure that we actually can get into this email. OK, that's one of the main things we want um, <clears throat> because we need to verify this in a minute. So once we have that part. OK, so I'm just going to keep going through here just so you guys can see. Um, so once we have that part, now we actually want to add that sender into GrooveMail. OK, so we're going to come back into Groove. And we are going to come over here to GrooveMail. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to come into Groove Mail. We're going to click on Senders, which is this little guy down here with a little arrow on it. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and what we want to do is we want to click on New Sender. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and delete this one just so we guys, just so we can actually do this together. Oh, uh, sorry. I already have it, have it linked. Okay. Um, so we're going to go New Sender. And the, you're going to have to enter in all the information here to sender info. So the sender identity, this is going to be basically what your internal identity is. So I'm just going to say it's Kathy and Rob. Uh, Kathy and Rob. And then the sender name. And this is what's actually going to be, a, this is what's going to appear when we actually send out this email. Um, so again, I'm just going to call this Kathy and Rob. And now here's the actual email itself. Um, content at Kathy and and rob.com and then what reply email when somebody hits reply i'm actually wanted to go to the same one and i'm going to set this up as the default okay the next thing we need to do here is you can see um down here the smp driver smtp driver there's a couple options here oh mailgun is new that's cool um so spark post send grid or mail or mailgun i'm going to go ahead and select send grid okay and then it's going to say api key okay so with this we have to go back into our setting grid account. Okay. Once we're done with this, we come over here. We come to API keys. We go ahead and click on that. It says create API key. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new API key. It's going to say, what do we want? We want full access. I'm going to say create and view. Um, we got to put a name in here. So I'm just going to say Groove Mail test. So I'm going to remove this one in a minute. Um, say create and view, and it's going to give me give me this API key. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this API key, and what we're going to do is we're going to come back into Groove Mail, and we're going to go ahead and paste it in here. Okay, um, once we do that, we're going to go ahead and click on save, and I'm, it may not let me actually do it with this one because I already have that email set up, and I think it I don't think it did. Let's see here. Refresh this real quick. Okay. All right. Once you do that, right, what's going to happen is that it's going to kick off an email to your email address that you just set up there. So in this case, um, it went to content at kathyandrob.com. Okay. It may take a little while and it may actually end up in spam as well. So if you don't get it right away, check your spam account, uh, check your spam folder because it definitely may end up in there. Okay. Once you get this email, though, you can't do anything until you get this email. So once you get this email, you're going to click on verify. Okay. It'll go over to Groove and I'll go ahead and verify it. Um, once you click on this, it'll go ahead and do its thing. Um, go ahead and refresh this page. And you're going to see verified is set to yes. Okay. Once it's verified, now you're good to go. Okay. Um, Essentially, what you have now is now you have any emails that you start sending out of Groove, you're going to send from Cat from Kathyandrob.com. Okay, um, and we can do a quick 
a quick demo on this because what I can do here is I can come over here to campaigns, right? I can set up a new campaign and it's just going to be email campaign. It's just going to be a test. Um, I'm not worried about the tags. I'm going to send this to a list and I happen to have a list called affiliate leads list, which just has one person in it, which is me, which I use for testing. Um, I'm going to hit next. And now I'm just going to send a quick email out. So um, this is my email setup test. A preview. If we get this, my email was set up correctly. All right. I click on next. And what do we want to do? I actually want to send this right now. Um, and you can come down here. You can see all the different things that it has right here. I'm going to go ahead and send now. And it's, you can see it's in the process of sending. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my Gmail account. And I know that this user is this one right here. I'm going to check out the Gmail. And what we should see is, uh, where is it? Come on. Oh, it actually ends up in my promotions thing. Actually, no, this is all the other ones right here. Uh, where'd it go here? It may not have come through yet. Uh, it's still in the process. All right, so it may take a little while, but it will get there. Let's see, reload this. Oh, here it is right here. Okay, cool. It just came in. Um, so this is my email test. If you get this email set up correctly. All right. So you can see right there, we sent out this campaign. This is where it came into. Um, it has all the clicks to unsubscribe right in there automatically, which is kind of cool. Um, but that actually went out without a problem. So from this point, all you, all you need to do now is just set up your um, uh, set up your your um, your email forms on your opt-in pages, have them go into a list, and then you can go ahead and send a campaign out, out to that list. Um, but that's the main steps of actually doing this. And in, in like I said, in this, um, in this PDF, what I'll give you guys here is it walks you guys through exactly what to do here. It'll walk you through how to set, set up the API, how to set up the authorization, um, and then basically how to, once you're roll, rocking and rolling, how to verify it. And um, you're verified. Once you're verified, you're basically ready to rock and roll there. So.